is the sweet land of liberty of the Aussie. Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. I don't know if you've noticed, there is a little difference between the two of us. What is it? I am black, and he is white. I was going to say, you're younger, I'm older, but oh. whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm black, you're white. From your perspective, why, why do we have different ethnicities? I'm, gonna, I'm trying not to be corny, but I think God's plan in like making us different colors, I guess you just uh, to say, is to show us the important lesson of unity and diversity. We were born in different places. True, but why? Why does? Why do they? Do they serve any purpose, or is it just an evolutionary process, and we just have different shades of skin? It's. It, it's. It's just the regions that we lived in. Food for thought. I think there is something deeper to it. All right. I'm gonna. I'm going to share with you what I think is the grand purpose in God having different skin colors. Okay. Would you agree that you and I fundamentally are the same? Yes, fundamentally. The only difference between you and me, I mean, obviously we've got different characteristics, height, all of those things that mm -hmm. make people different. But at a fundamental level, the only thing different between you and me is you got more melanin than I do. That's it. Yeah, fundamentally, that's pretty much it. You're a human, I'm a human. So we're both the human, there's only one race, the human race. There's a bunch of different ethnic groups. And I think when we look at the history of ethnicity, we don't ever see a time when we were all living in perfect harmony with one another. Can you cite a time in world history where all of the ethnic groups got along perfectly? I, barely, I don't know if it was like a tower or a stairway to heaven. And while they were doing it, God said no and snapped his fingers and everybody started speaking different languages. Right. Some did conspire together and God separated them. That's why we have nations with borders. But what we've seen throughout history is there's always ethnic tension. Yeah. No matter how hard we try, we cannot get the job done. And we've been trying really hard in this country yeah. since, let's just, whatever year you want to pick, the 60s. We've been trying hard, and it's not happening. And I think there's a reason for that. Here's what the Bible says. God actually is the one who decided there's going to be different languages, different nations, and different skin colors. You read the book of Revelation, chapter 7, I believe. There's a scene described at the end of the age when God wraps up this world, creates a new heaven and a new earth. A scene is described that in eternity, there's a sea of people that are going to be worshiping God together. And it says it's an assembly of every tribe, every tongue, every nation, every people are all going to be united around Jesus Christ. In other words, diversity. The first time in history that racism has been solved is because of Jesus. And the message that it sends is we human beings, we couldn't bring about ethnic harmony. Human beings can't seem to find a pathway to peace. It's because it, Jesus uses it ultimately to go, but I can. No man could pull that off, but Jesus did. I can bring all of these people together because when you become a Christian, your primary identity isn't black or white anymore. So I'm, a Christ, I'm a Christ one. So ethnic groups are actually meant to ultimately glorify the one who is going to be able to bring us together. Because when we become Christians, I'm not a white Christian. You're not a black Christian. We're Christians. You happen to be black. I happen to be white, but that's not what identifies me. So I'm like, I can be a, like a total brother of yours, totally loving you because we're in Christ. And our skin colors, our socioeconomic levels, our genders, all of that stuff just fades because of our new identity. That means everybody whose identity in Christ is a brother or sister, and I don't care what skin color they are. I don't care how much money they have. All I know is we're in Christ together, the only one who can unify us. That's why I think there's different ethnic groups. So that's why I think there are different ethnic groups, so that God can prove that he can do what man can't. I believe that. I strongly believe that. And I'm, like, nodding my head. You just were spitting out. That was really good. I mean, I, th 
I think that's kind of a dumb reason to have ethnic groups. You do not need to be embarrassed that you are terrified to share your faith. We all are, but we do all need to overcome our terrors and get about the business of sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Terrified 2, a resource available at wretched.org, will help you overcome your witnessing heebie-jeebies and equip you to be obedient to the Great Commission. Wretched.org slash terrified2.